Hi, my name is David. I work at Galileo and my job is to create projects that help kids grow as innovators. And I'm here today with your project challenge, 3D Marble Labyrinth. Your goal is to create a marble labyrinth that goes around at least two sides of a box and to be reflective by taking moments to pause and think about what could make my labyrinth more fun to play. The materials you'll need are paper, a box you can hold, scissors, marbles, tape, a pencil, a steak knife, and scrap cardboard, and a ruler. The first thing we need to do is make our labyrinth base. That means closing up a box and putting two pieces of cardboard on either side of the box. These pieces of cardboard will act as edges of the labyrinth. So start construction by sealing up your box with tape. Next, we need to make the two pieces of cardboard that will sandwich around the box. These pieces of cardboard will be the edges of the labyrinth, so we want them to stick out around the box. And we want them to stick out about an inch. To get these labyrinth edges the right size, move your box into the corner of the scrap of cardboard you're using. Notice that the sealed flaps of the cardboard box are what are laying on the scrap of cardboard that will eventually become the edge of our labyrinth. We want the smooth edges of the box to be the surface that our marble rolls on. Use a ruler to measure two inches out from the edge of your box. Do that on both sides. Then draw a line so you can see where to cut. Ask an adult for help cutting. If you'd like to cut, ask the adult. A steak knife works great for cutting cardboard. Make sure to put a glove on your non-cutting hand and move your work to the edge of the table. The table supports the work as you saw. After you cut your first labyrinth edge, use it as a template for your second labyrinth edge. Center the box on the labyrinth edge and then use long strips of tape to connect the labyrinth edge and the box together. Repeat on every side of the box and for the other labyrinth edge. With the edges attached to the box, we're ready to start creating paths for our marble. To create our pathways, all we need is some paper, tape, and some simple folding techniques. Divide a sheet of paper into one inch strips. Most rulers are around one inches wide, so you can use that as a guide. Cut the strips of paper and then fold them in half lengthwise. Press hard to create a solid crease. Place one of your strips on the box and tape it down. Note, the tape has to extend over the end of the strip to make sure it doesn't flop around. To make a turn in the paper strip, snip the bottom edge of the paper. That snip now allows the paper to hinge at that point. So wherever you want the paper to turn, just snip the bottom edge and bend the paper. Each time the paper wall makes a turn, lay a strip of tape across to secure it. To make a pathway, add a second paper wall. Don't wait to test your pathways. As soon as you make them, test them to see if they're working as you think. You can see here, before I tested, I didn't know that this gap in my pathway wasn't quite large enough for the marble to roll through. To fix it, I just snipped the paper to make it wider, and then test it again to see if it was working. Labyrinths often have holes where the marble can fall through. To make a hole in your labyrinth, use a pencil to punch a hole, and then use your scissors to widen the hole. It'll take a bit, but just keep pushing the scissors down further into the hole until it's big enough to fit the marble. Now that you have a marble stuck inside your box, it's a good time to make the ball return. Do that in a corner of the box. It doesn't matter which one, just any corner. Start by punching a hole with the pencil and then use the steak knife to cut a flap in the corner. Then tip the box to that corner and your marble should come out. It's important to build your labyrinth so that the person playing can progress from one side of the box to the next side of the box without losing their marble. One simple way to create a transition from one side of the box to the next is to create a covered turn. To make a covered turn, just make a turn on the next side of the box and then cover that turn with a piece of paper. The paper covering the turn will also be blocking the pathway. So cut a notch in that covering paper and then turn that flap up and that flap acts as a guide for the marble. An optional step you can take at the end is paving your pathways with tape. If you're finding that your pathways are a little bit lumpy because of all the various pieces of tape and irregularities in the folded paper, it can help to lay a strip of tape on the floor of the pathway. This creates a smooth surface for the marble to roll on and makes playing it a little bit more fun. If you're not having this issue, then don't worry about it. Now that you've seen the building techniques, you're ready to start. Making the pathways can be pretty exciting and it's easy to get caught up in the building process. But this is when you can choose to be reflective by taking moments to pause and think about what could make your labyrinth more fun to play. 
When I first started making my labyrinth, I imagined building a complex maze that wrapped all the way around the box, with holes the marbles could fall into. But after building the first side of the box, I took a moment to think and realized it would be more interesting for the player to enter a new world or theme on each side of the box. So I decided to make the first side a maze theme. This would be just a maze the player has to get through. The next side would be mystery themed, where certain parts of the maze would be hidden so the player would have to guess their way through the maze. The next side of the box would be danger, <laughs> where they would have to navigate their way around many holes that the marble could fall into. And the last side would be scary, where there would be just one hole that if the marble falls in, it goes into a paper trap inside the box and never comes back. That's it for this challenge. If you made a marble labyrinth, we would love to see it. Show us a photo or video of some of the cool components you added to yours. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no!